This morning, we will be talking about inverse variation. So, let's define first. So, the quantity of y varies, that's equal to k, inversely with x, that's 1 over x. So, we combine them, that would be y is equal to k over x, or that's xy is equal to k, where k here is the constant of your variation. Okay, let's have the first example. The table shows the time in hours and the speed taken in kilometer per hour. Okay, letter A. Show that S varies inversely as T. So, let's create our equation. So, we have there S varies again, that's equal to K, inversely as T, that is 1 over T. So, our equation here will be S is equal to K over T. Now, we want to solve for our constant. So, we multiply everything by T. So, we distribute this. So, that is ST is equal to, now we cancel, leaving us the K. So, commutative property... We could have here K is equal to S T. Now, let's proceed on the first column. So, we substitute this value to our equation. So, K is equal to your speed there is 30 and your time is 4. So, K is equal to 30 times 4 that is 120. So, on the first column, your K is 120. Now, on the second column, so K is equal to your speed is 40. Your time is 3. So, 40 times 3, that's 120 for the second column. Now, let's proceed on the third column. So, on the third column, we have your speed is 50. Your time is 2.4. So, 50 times 2.4, that is also 120. On the fourth column, we have there 60 times 2. That would give us 120. On the fifth column, 80 times 1.5, that is also 120. So again, your constant there are the same. Your K are 120. Now, let's have now the graph of our inverse variation. So we have here the X and the Y axis. So our X here is represented by the speed. And our Y is represented by the Time. That's 1 to 5 hours. Now, let's plot the points. So, on the first column, the speed is 30 and it took 4 hours. On the se second column, that's 40 speed. Time is 3 hours. On the third column, the speed is 50 and the time is 2.4. On the fourth column, the speed is 60 and the time is 2 hours. Now, on the fifth column, the speed is 80 and it took 1.5 hours. Okay, let's trace the points. So, if you have noticed, as x increases or as the speed increases, the time traveled is decreasing. Because when we say inverse variation, as the first variable, variable is increasing, the second variable is decreasing. Okay, let's proceed on the second example. The time required to empty a tank varies inversely as the rate of pumping. If a pump can empty a tank in 2.5 hours at a rate of 400 gallons per minute, how long will it take to empty a tank at 500 gallons per minute? Okay, let's have the equation of variation. So we go back to the problem. We have there the time, then varies inversely as the rate. So our equation here will be T is equal to k over r now our given so we have there the time is 2.5 hours and the rate is 400 gallons per minute and we will be solving for the k so again our equation t is equal to k over r we substitute the given so we have 2.5 is equal to k over 400 we multiply everything by 400 we distribute, so 400 times 2.5, that is 1,000. We cancel, so leaving us the K. So the constant for the second example is 1,000. Now, how long will it take to empty a tank at 500 gallons per minute? So we have there the same equation. How long we will be solving for the time is equal to K. This time our K is 1,000. Rate is 
500. So, time is equal to 1000 over 500, that is 2 hours. So, meaning to say, it took 2 hours to empty a tank at 500 gallons per minute. Okay, now let's have example number 3. The force needed to break a board varies inversely with the length of the board. If it takes 24 pounds of pressure to break a board of 2 feet long, how many pounds of pressure would it take to break a board that is 5 feet long? Okay, let's have first the equation of variation. So, we have there force, then varies inversely with the length. So, we have F is equal to K over L. Now, our given, we have F is equal to 24 pounds and length is equal to 2 feet. And we will be solving for the K. So, our equation is F is equal to K over L. So, F is 24. K, L is 2 feet. We multiply everything by 2. So, distribute. So, 2 times 24, that is 48. We cancel the 2, leaving as the K. So, our K here, or the constant for number 3 is 48. Now, we have there how many pounds of pressure in order to break a board that is 5 feet long. So, again, the same equation, but this time, we are solving for the force. So, our K is 48. Length, this time, it's 5. Now, force is equal to 48 over 5, that is 9.6 pounds. So, we have there, the force is 9.6 pounds needed to break a board that is 5 feet long. So, I hope you've learned something this morning about inverse variation.